When you're looking at lists, sometimes it's advantageous to be able to see different parts of the list at the same time. And one way is to use a feature called split. Now, rather than clicking it right away, let's think out what it is we might want to do. In this list, farther down, starting in route row 90, are some admin training people. And maybe I want to see those names for a while, and at the same time, also see names from our other training group, and they're located around row 500 or thereabouts. We'd like to split the screen top-bottom and be able to scroll independently on either side of that split. If you'd like to split the screen that way, top-bottom, in other words, a horizontal split, position the active cell in column A roughly halfway down. It doesn't have to be perfect or exact. In fact, you can eventually move that split line up and down. Then go to the split command. It's on the view tab in the ribbon in the window group. Split and we see a horizontal line across the screen. We can move it up and down. We might want to consider doing that if we zoom back a little bit. So notice the two scroll bars on the right-hand side. On the upper part, I'm going to be scrolling, and watch what happens in the lower part of the screen. You can see nothing. It's just static for the moment. So let's say that I'm trying to find the data around row 90 or thereabouts. We see some admin training. In the lower part of the screen, I'm going to scroll down to around row 520 or somewhere in there and eventually we'll see our other training group. That's the professional training group. I'm not necessarily trying to see the entire group, but I want these names on the screen at the same time. Maybe zooming back a little bit. Now the split line will move a little bit seemingly out of place. We can move this up or down as needed. You get the idea though that we can scroll independently either in the bottom portion or in the top portion of the screen. If we no longer need the feature, we can go back to the split button or simply double click this line. It disappears. Now, at other times, and particularly if we have to zoom in and we have a lot more columns, it might make sense to split the screen left-right. Now, probably that's less likely in this example, but still, we might want to be comparing some of that data on the right side with some of the data on the left side. So here, we want to position the active cell in the top row, roughly halfway across the screen, and then go to split to introduce a vertical split. And now we've got two horizontal scroll bars at the bottom. What we'll need to do if one of them is pretty tiny, for example, the one on the left, we can actually move the three vertical dots, drag leftward there to make that scroll bar a little bit bigger if we want. So on the left side of the split line, we can scroll left and right. We can do the same thing on the right side. Now, sometimes maybe hiding columns could get us the same effect, but this is faster. We also have an unusual arrangement whereby on the right side, we might be looking at columns A and B, and then on the left side, maybe we're more interested to see the compensation benefits years. So the layout here is a bit unorthodox, but we are seeing data adjacent to the other data we want to see. For example, compensation and employee name, maybe something like that. As with a horizontal split, we can take this split line and move it left, right if we want, make it look a little bit different. Sometimes when you zoom back, you might want to see more information this way and then move that scroll bar. So we can get rid of this too, as we did with the earlier split line, simply by double clicking. Now, if you didn't know about the feature, and maybe you're looking at your list here, active cell could be anywhere, but if you click the split line, you'll get a split above and to the left. In fact, that's what split actually does all the time. But if you've got the active cell on the top row or the left column, you only see either a vertical or a horizontal split. If the active cell is anywhere else, you'll get a split on top of that cell and to the left of it. So we've got four sets of scroll bars now. We've got a scroll bar at the bottom here to allow us to scroll left and right. You see what's happening. The two panes on the left side, we're scrolling left and right, and we can do the same thing on the right side. And also, on the right side of our screen, we can scroll up and down on the top two panes, and then below that, we can scroll up and down on the bottom two panes. And for some of us, I think this just might be a recipe for chaos and confusion. If there's anything to be proved by this, I could, for example, in the top left pane, move around there and actually get to cell A1. And in the lower right pane, I could press control down arrow and keep doing that and go to the very bottom of the worksheet and control right arrow. That's the extreme lower right hand corner. So if you can see the extreme lower right-hand corner and the extreme upper left-hand corner, that simply means that we could see any two cells on the worksheet at the same time. But I must admit, I think for most people, this is not an efficient feature and not something you want to deal with. Either split the screen top-bottom, as we saw in our previous example, or left-right in another example. That makes sense. 
The four-way split, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a good use for this. You can get rid of both of these at the same time by double-clicking the intersection here. Just double-click. So a valuable feature if splitting left, right, and more likely top, bottom. I doubt if you want to do a four-way split. But I think you can see the need for this feature from time to time.